Welcome back to Yahoo Finance. Well, stocks are taking a big hit at the start of a packed earnings week, with Tesla being one of the companies reporting its quarterly earnings this Wednesday. Here to help break down what's in store for the EV giant is CFRA Research Senior Equity Analyst Garrett Nelson. Garrett, thanks so much for being here. What do we expect from those earnings results? I know for the previous quarter, revenue came in at $14 billion. And then what is the outlook for revenue going into the rest of the year and perhaps next year as well? Well, thanks for having me. You know, all signs here point to another very strong quarter for Tesla. We know what their production and sales were for the quarter in terms of vehicles sold. Uh, that came out a few weeks ago, and it, it was a record high quarter uh, for Tesla. So um, they've also gotten really good at uh, beating consensus. So Tesla has now beat eight of the last nine quarters. So, um, But we think with the, the record uh, quarterly production and the sales, that they posted for Q4, um, that that really bodes well in terms of their ability to beat. Um, just given the high fixed cost nature of auto manufacturing, um, when you have a quarter and when you have such strong volumes, that tends to really drive down unit costs and gives them a lot of uh, bottom line leverage. So we're expecting another very strong quarter and really investors will be focused on uh, what guidance they provide in the release. Garrett, you have a buy a rating on Tesla right now, 12-month price target, uh, $1,250. What do you see as possible headwinds to that target and to that rating? Yeah, the stock's really pulled back significantly since the start of the year. And it's, you know, it's this broader sell-off uh, in, the, in, the, in the higher growth stocks. Um, the, the, a lot of tech stocks have, have sold off. Tesla trades more like a tech stock than an auto manufacturer. So we really view that as a buying opportunity. Um, in terms of headwinds that we're looking at, uh, it's really consistent with what the, the headwinds that are facing all auto manufacturers here, which is uh, supply chain issues and semiconductor shortages. But Tesla's done a very good job uh, navigating those headwinds. And we think there's potential upside uh, to, to uh, 2022 consensus numbers uh, with their two new factories starting up. We think the startup of the new factory in Texas is, is now imminent. And then the startup of the, of the new factory in Germany will be coming probably in the second quarter. So, um, you know, we're very bullish on Tesla. We look at consensus numbers and, uh, you know, those two factories will essentially double Tesla's production capacity when they come online. So it's a big event. And we think the, the company will provide more information regarding their go, uh, longer term growth plans beyond this year. Remember that the company has a, has a long term growth plan to grow their annual volumes by a factor of 40 in between the years 2020 and 2030. And, you know, Elon Musk sat out the last earnings call. So I wonder, does he sit in this time? Because a lot of people are very interested to learn about vehicles that are down the pike, particularly things like the Cybertruck that was supposed to sort of go into production this year. So it's it, it's rumored that he will be on this call. So uh, we view that as, a, 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 you know, a positive factor. Um, normally, he, he's not going to be on the call if it's, you know, if, if there's no good news or, or no no new developments to report. So. We think you know that's another reason why we're bullish heading into the quarter. Um, uh, as far as the Cybertruck, that's been a concern recently uh, uh, regarding the story. But the company's rumored to have upwards of 1.3 million reservations for the Cybertruck, and even if it's been pushed into early 2023, as far as first production, we think investors are are willing to be patient. And that reservation count is very bullish when you. Uh, compare it to some of the other EVs, such as Ford's F-150 Lightning or uh, uh, GM Chevy Silverado Electric. So uh, we're very bullish on the Cybertruck, as well as the Semi, which will, will be coming fairly soon. I know that for the first time, uh, Tesla plans to produce its own cells uh, to support its electric vehicle production. How might that impact the company going forward? And I'm, spe I'm thinking specifically about what those costs might mean uh, in real terms to Tesla. I think that's an area where investors are really looking for more information. You know, since uh, Tesla held their battery day uh, um, several quarters ago, uh, they really haven't provided an update as far as their, their plans and how, how they're progressing in terms of you know, producing their own battery cells. We know that over time, 
know, they have a plan to reduce their battery costs by over 50 percent and increase the intensity and, and power of those battery cells. But I think that's definitely an area where investors are looking for more information from the company. And then, and then uh, who is Tesla's biggest competition? Is it players like Rivian and, uh, you know, the EV space or is it more from legacy car makers? That's a good question. It's really all of the above. We view Tesla's closest comp in terms of uh, the specs of the vehicle, the quality of the product. Right now, we think that's Lucid. Um, the Lucid Air, you know, really has comps that are that are you know really on par or maybe even slightly superior to a Tesla vehicle. The rumored um, Tesla has been rumored to have developed the the uh, Model S Plaid to compete with the Lucid Air, but you know, incumbent uh, traditional automakers have numerous EV models that you're going to be see you're going to be seeing on roads later this year and more so next year. So um, and, and and really the traditional automakers have increased their investments that they're dedicating towards EVs dramatically over the last year. So, you know, it's going to be a mix of both traditional automakers and upstarts such as Rivian, Lucid, uh, Fisker and others. All right. We will have to leave it there. A lot of people are very interested in those earnings results out on Wednesday. Garrett Nelson, CFRA Research Senior Equity Analyst. Thanks for stopping by today.